Equine, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm just catching Senny in from the field because we're about to go and do some long lining in the arena. So I thought I'd invite you guys along to watch how we do it and hopefully I won't make a mess of it. And uh, we'll stick some poles out too and show you what we do. See you in a sec. So we're at the arena now with Senny. The reason I longline Senny regularly is actually because Senny's had numerous difficulties with her back just behind the saddle. She's always really tense there. We've had a saddle checked, a teeth checked, everything checked. Um, our current osteopath is amazing. has actually worked out that she's got one hind leg slightly longer than the other. So if some of you have been really switched on watching the videos, you've noticed that she's probably the only horse in the world that has three barefoot feet and one shoe on intentionally and that's to actually level out oh Sunny says enough for filming now that, that'll do um so that's to level out her back end because she's slightly uneven behind uh, but there's so many different reasons you might like to long ride and the first one that most people know of the use of long lining for is before you ride a horse so before you get on top long lining helps you teach a horse how to stop start turn left and right all from the ground which essentially means you're a lot safer for those of you who don't know what long lining is it's essentially using two lunge lines so i've got here in my hands um running from one on one side of a bit one on the other side of a bit through the stirrups of her saddle or it could be a roller so the metal rings on a roller a lunging roller um, and they run along each side of the horse to a person who's either stood behind or to the side of them, holding on to two, basically two long reins that they're steering the horse with from the ground. So useful for multiple things such as rehab and starting young horses off. Um, and essentially just getting your horse to have a good old stretch and loosen up without the weight of a rider on their back, which of course they're not mechanically designed to carry. So let's get her set up and get started so equipment wise what you need is two lunge lines just two standard lunge lines then you bring your horse into the arena with a bridle my bridle looks a little bit different to a standard bridle because when you lunge or long ride you would normally either take your reins off or twist them up and because i'm encouraging Sunny to work really long and low with her head almost on the floor when she's long lining i get a little bit worried when those reins get nearer her head and therefore near where she's placing her foot so i actually just have a spare really old bridle that I use just for long lining and lunging that sits in the tap room with no reins on it and no nose band makes things a little bit quicker and easier you want a nice gentle bit my bit looks a little bit funny but essentially it is just a standard uh, French link snaffle in the inside mouthpiece and he has fallen asleep so the rest of your kit that you want is either a saddle or a roller so you can see that I've got her saddle on just because that's what I've got to hand and back here the stirrups need to be down and you need to have something holding the stirrups together so i've chosen just a stirrup leather here a spare one to strap the stirrups to each other it doesn't particularly matter how tight it is just as long as they don't move too much and that's so that when you use a lunge line to turn your horse it doesn't pull that stirrup away from the horse's side or flip it over the horse's back which of course would cause lots of difficulties um, and also Senny's got her brushing boots on as normal because she's about to do some poles in a minute so we're just making sure we protect her legs from any bashes or scrapes either from the poles or from her hind legs. Uh, so setting up and getting started for long line is actually always the most difficult bit so if you've got a horse who hasn't been long lined before make sure you've got someone with you and essentially their job is to stand up by the horse and give it some direction because horses aren't used to humans standing behind them and directing them particularly young horses Sunny's done this quite a few times before so I'm just going to thread this lunge line through the stirrup and then I'm going to place it on top of the saddle so that it's ready for when I move over the other side. I'm still keeping hold of her the whole time, still keeping hold of her and then I'm going to go on to this side of her and then the second lunge line I'm going to thread through the stirrup, always keeping hold of the horse at the same time. This is why it's fiddly and then clip on with the buckle with the clip facing outwards. So now we've got a horse with both lunge lines clipped onto her bit, but at the moment only this one is actually doing anything and directing her. So in a second, the most tricky bit is to get 
the lunge line that's on the opposite side of the horse flipped over her bottom but without spooking her or scaring her as you do that. So we're just going to create a little bit of slack and just gently pop that down to the other side of her whilst making sure that there's no slack in the lunge lines and they don't drop to the floor so that she can't be in any danger of standing on them. While long lining you're looking to have an even pressure with both hands on the rein, particularly when you ask your horse to stop, where you pull back gently towards your stomach and then release the pressure once the horse stands still. And then to ask them to move off again, use your voice. If they don't respond, then you can gently tap them with the long lines on their sides, just like you would be nudging with a rider's leg. Here I'm shortening the right long line in order to turn her head to the right and allowing the left line to go slightly longer which of course allows her to make that turn. I'm positioning myself on a slightly smaller circle so to the inside of the turn to mean that I don't walk as far as the horse does which of course makes it easier when the horse is moving at speed. Here shortening the left line turning her head to the left and allowing the right lunge line to go a little longer so that she can make that turn and I'm not pulling back on both reins. Here now she's stood still, I'm putting even pressure on both hands and asking her to move backwards. When she's moved backwards I then release the pressure with both reins to let her know that she's done the right thing. And then asking her to move forward again using my voice and gently tapping with the long lines if she doesn't respond to the voice aid. Here I ask Sunny to start to turn, she gets a little confused for a second and stops. So I just encourage her with a little tap of the long line and then steer her around on the turn. I'm using my voice to get her to go up in the trot, she doesn't respond which is why I then flick with the long line. So now I'm standing on the inside of a circle so that Sunny can move up into a faster pace into trot and I'm not having to run too far because she's on a much bigger turn than me. So one thing I wanted to talk about during this video was what happens when it goes wrong because I've watched a few other videos and it looks wonderful when it's going well but actually if you guys have given long line a go it's nowhere near as easy as it looks um, and when it goes wrong it can go really wrong so what tends to happen is people tend to get their lunge lines in a bit of a knot like I've got here and people are worried about dropping it and spooking the horse in some way so they keep knotting them up, knotting them up and then it becomes quite dangerous. So essentially your most important line is the one that's on the inside of the circle. So that's going to be the one in my left hand because we're on the left rein currently. So I'm just going to pop the outside line into my left hand to make sure there's no slack and then I'm going to let the rest of it drop onto the floor behind me and as long as it's behind me into the outside of the circle I'm not in danger of standing on it and neither is Senny and then I can reel that up neatly while I'm on the move and you can do that whether she's walk, trotting or cantering so you can sort your line out on the go all the time as long as you make sure there's a little more tension on the inside rein than there is on the outside so that your horse is always turning around you. The same thing goes for if you completely drop this line, if you completely drop the outside line, it's not the end of the world as long as you keep hold of this inside one and turn your horse around you so that the loose line remains on the outside of the circle and therefore away from your horse's feet so it can't stand on the rope and hurt its mouth essentially. So here we're moving on to some slightly more advanced parts of long lining. So what I'd really like Sunny to do is have a low head courage while she's working on the long lines. So to encourage her to do that, I'm asking her to bend her head out to the left, to the outside of the circle. So she's on the right rein and she's turning to the right, but I'm asking her to look away from the turn, so turn her head to the left while her body moves to the right. And I ask her to stay there for a moment, which is contracting the left hand side of her neck. And then after she's held that for a little while, I then encourage her 
to bend her head back to true flexion which means bending her back to the inside of the circle and as I do that Sunny should want to stretch out of that contraction there we go and her head should go longer and lower this is a point when people have usually had a lovely session started to get the hang of it um, but then suddenly panic because they're not sure how to get from here at the back of the horse up to the front of the horse to unclip everything Certainly I worried when I first did this when I was at equestrian college. Um, I remember being stood here thinking, ah, how do I get there without making a dangerous situation of dropping a line on the floor and a horse potentially standing on it and of course hurting their mouth because the lunge line is attached to the bit. Um, but a few years on now I've got the hang of it and essentially what I do is I commit to one side. So I'm going to go to Senny's left hand side, that's the side I'm going to walk up to and I'm going to let go of the right hand side. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure he Senny's head is slightly bent to the left. So I'm going to have this left rein slightly shorter. So if she spooks and shoots off, she's definitely turning left, therefore away from the loose lunge line that's on the floor. So turning her head slightly left, I'm going to gently drop the right-handed lunge line away from the horse and on the floor and fairly swiftly reel in and go up to her. And then I'm going to unthread it through, unthread it through the stirrup and then immediately unclip the other side because at least that way she spooks is not going to hurt her mouth and I'll unthread it through the stirrup and then at this point I'm now back to the front of my horse and I'm safe so I can turn her around and walk forwards to the other lunge line and reel it in from the handle end makes life a little easier in the long run Okay guys, that's us finished long lining for the day. Sunny says thank God she finds it rather boring compared to jumping and galloping around the countryside. So really pleased with Sunny, she worked really well. She used to find this exercise really difficult, but the fact she's doing it so calm and willingly now shows that she really is starting to even up for her muscles. She's certainly feeling good working on the flat and jumping. So that's why we started competing, but also we've just booked in a lesson with someone who I think you guys will already know of. I'm super excited to be finally getting a chance to have a lesson with this person so be sure to check in next week so we're going to vlog that session so you guys can come along for the journey if you enjoyed today as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you next week see you later Action. <laughs> <laughs> right we are recording i'm so sorry <laughs>